Hi everybody, this is Sherry, and I know I haven't made many videos lately, but I've been real sick and real weak, and I don't want to bore y'all with my health issues. So, for the past month, I've been working on some very plain and simple cards to give to some of the ladies at the church that my husband has been pastoring at. He was their interim pastor until a new one came, and, uh, and so he will be, this Sunday is his last Sunday. And those people have been so sweet to us and so kind to us that I just really felt like I needed to let them know how much I appreciated that. And so since I couldn't really do anything elaborate because I didn't have the strength, these are what I made in turn. And this is, these ones right here and are from my Cricut Explorer. And then when they become different ones, I'll tell you. And then I just embossed the paper and cut an extra strip out and put it here. So it seemed to make the word grounded a little better. And I like that one. There's nothing on the inside. Here's another one. It says happy. Nothing on the inside. But I love that embossing. I sat one day. I cut all my papers out. And then I just pulled out all the embossing folders that I wanted to use. And I used those and just sat there that day and ran them through my die cutting machine and that's all I got done that way. But here's another one with the real pretty embossing, some different papers. My husband, Royce got me this paper a long time ago at Michael's and I can't re remember the name of where I got this sentiment but I like it because it was a nice big sentiment and I can find it if you're interested. It's just buried in a pile right now because I wanted to show you all these before I ran out the door and then it just says a scripture from Kay Andrew designs and she no longer makes her stamps which is sad because they were great stamps now this one see yeah you can see it there it's just this the cross with different words and I love it and then I left the blank in the inside no I didn't I'm sorry. It says, Cast thy burdens upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. Psalms 55, 22. And I'm praying for you. I thought that was really neat. I like that. I love those, that scripture. And here's another one. I love that embossing too. Laugh. And I mean, this one, I can't, can you tell? It has a pearlescent. Let me see. There you can a little. It's got a pearlescent shine to it. And I thought it was neat. Now, I did the backs in... I don't know if you can tell the difference. I can't tell the difference, but then I'm colorblind. Um, creams and white from the Recollections 110-pound cardstock. And I used my um, stamp on the back. Thank you, Mary. I appreciate it. Mary gave me this for my wish. And I will put a link. Her name's Mary Hill. And I will put a link to her channel in the description box below because she's a very very sweet lady and y'all need to check her out and I did this one I actually did a couple that extra that I didn't like and then I wanted to use them and I'm wishing I had used this one instead because this these were the last two but and it says happy and nothing on the inside and then here's another one I took the um the two the coordinating pieces so you can see there and use them up and made this card and a friend loveth at all times Proverbs 17 17 and with love and now these are coming from my die cuts and guys I'm so sorry that I don't have the names for you but I can tell you that if you want them I will most definitely try to find them let's see with love is um, a Spellbinders Delights, and I got it from Simon Says Stamp. All these long ones like this, I got from Simon Says Stamp. And there it says, Get Well, and it's got this beautiful, I love those flowers. And then just tried to bring it up a little so that it would pop off the card a little more. I love this embossing folder. Isn't that gorgeous? And then just a note, and it's another... Um, from Simon Says Stamp. And I believe they're both Spellbinders Delights. 
And this is one, I know this is from Stampin' Up! And I love it. And it just says hello there. And I use the paper that I got. Let me see. It's right here. I use, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I use these. I got them at the dollar store. I am so sorry. I hit the camera and didn't even realize that I probably made, you know, half sick. And then I just added some Stampin' Up! pearls in there. And then the die. And the part of this was supposed to come out this way. But I needed the sentiment to be here because it would have went over the bumps. So I um, just cut it off and added them on the other end. And this is another Stampin' Up! embossing folder. And I put Wink of Stella on the flowers. And it says, on your special day. And you open up, it says, happy birthday. And again, that same stamp set. And this one, I wanted to do something with this. And I tried cutting out some butterflies yesterday. And I just was having absolutely no luck. Because this one just looks so plain. And then in the middle of the night, I woke up and I thought, oh, I could punch out one real easy. So I'm going to punch out a butterfly, a yellow butterfly, and put it up here. Because I thought that would look pretty and make this one not quite so plain. So I'm going to put that aside so I remember. And let's see, let me get to the rest of the pile here. And then this one, this was a, um, it just had an embossing edge. And then this was stamping up. And then I used these papers from my stash. And this one, I like this pattern too. And it just says friends. And this is from my Cricut. All of these larger ones are from my Cricut. Isn't that gorgeous? Y'all can see that uh, embossing. And then I just um, punched two die strips and put one on top and one on the bottom and kind of framed it out. And here's happiness. I wanted this one. It just seemed really understated and simple, and I thought that was great. You know, just to send us, you know, I, I don't know how to explain it. I want to say a soft card, but that's not what I mean. I mean, something when you know your friend's feeling down and you want to just almost like give them a hug to make them feel better. And you just, you want to be gentle and let them know that they're loved. I just thought this was a great card. I don't know why. I liked it so much, but I do. And then some more. And then I even embossed down here. And those are little tiny hearts. And then I cut the two and put the ribbon across. And this one says, the best things in life aren't things. And I embossed it with clear embossing powder. And then I've got the other one here that I use this same technique on split the border, and then put Wonderful across it with, um, I put, cut the black and put it across, and then I taped, or I glued this piece, the black border piece to it, because there was no way I was going to try to measure that out, and that just made it a lot easier. And this is from my Cricut. And this one I like too. I can't, I think this is a Darice bossing folder and the scripture on it says cast thy burdens upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee Psalms 55 22 and deepest sympathy on the inside and again this set is this stamp set this stamp is from that same set with the big um, sentiments and here's another one and you can see the lips on it and I embossed it and put Wink of Stella on all the lips and then use the same red metallic paper to do I Love You and that again is from Simon Says Stamp and I believe it's the um, Spellbinders uh, Delights or Die Lights or however they say it. Now here's one I made and this one I made with my Cricut actually I made two of them and for some reason, I had a heck of a time with them last night. I don't know what. Me and my Cricut were not getting along last night. But I did these, and I thought they looked very pretty. I welded two of the background pieces. Oops, got it wrong way. Well, welded two of the background pieces together so that it um, made the card. 
and then I made all the envelopes because I'm out of envelopes. But it's no big deal because I got my envelope punch board and I put this stamp, praying for you, on every one of the envelopes, which I thought was really cute. And then right before I started getting sicker, more sick, um, Lisa from, oh, she changed her channel name. It's Charlise's something. Dang it. I will put um, Lisa's thing in the description below. Her link to her um, YouTube channel. She is a sweetheart. And she got this die set for me. And I loved it. Absolutely love it. And I've made three cards with it. And what I did was I sat down one night and I cut out three different shades of pink. And then um, in her, I mixed and swapped out the pieces. And the belly here is actually a two and a half inch circle punch. And then I just cut it across the bottom to make it even with the actual die cut. Because the one they had was lower and I didn't like it as well. So I altered it a little. And then I put cut out, uh, punched out hearts to go on that one. And it says, you're positively perfect. And that's from an old Stampin' Up! set when they had their, um, their Build-A-Bears. And then this is the other one. And it's a 5.5 by 5.5 inch card. And I just cut myself this piece. And I didn't, it actually stops right here. On this way and stops right here on this way you can't tell by touching it but I know and because I didn't want to use all that gold paper underneath here and waste it so I kind of cheated and then put this over top and this heart is from a tag some tags that Jen Callie sent me and I believe they were for Christmas Christmas Valentine's Day I can't remember but Jen's a sweetheart and um, She's Jen Callie here on YouTube. And so I cut it out of the tag because I thought it would really go with the um, paper. And I think it turned out really cute. And I love the little hearts for the feet. And I made a, um, a bright pink envelope for this one because you couldn't, it wouldn't fit with a standard size 8.5 by 11 sheet. So I had to use some, some thin cardstock. And it just says praying for you. And these are all of the cards that I've made in the last two months. And which right now looks like a lot. But when you consider two months, that's 60 days, guys. What have I been doing? That's not even a card a day. So just again, I ask for you to pray for me and Mariah. And... I hope you like these cards. I hope that you found something in here. Maybe you haven't used your embossing folders in a while and you want to bring them things out. Because let me tell you what, I I couldn't tell you the last time I used my embossing folders. I really couldn't. So I thought that this was a great opportunity to make something plain and simple, but yet really make it look unique. And um, so I hope you guys like them. I hope you found something that made you want to break out your embossing folders. I'm just kind of tossing them out here again so you guys can see them real quick. And if you um, want to know anything about the products I used, please just leave a comment in the description or in the just leave a comment in the comment section. I knew I could spit that out. And I will find out what it was that I used for sure and get back to you with it. Thanks for visiting me today, guys, and happy crafting. Bye.